Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan and yes of course we are here again for the real quick episode 5. So eto po yung uh, episode natin kung saan i-discuss natin ang mga bagay-bagay ng mabilisan at the same time hindi masyadong technical. And ang pinili ko po is yung pinaka-favorite ng nakakarami or yung majority na kinoment po sa ating post lately which is about PC case. Pero since yung comment is uh, better if gagawin nating dedicated topic na may makasamang benchmarks, then I just come up with another uh, topic from that comment, the five things that you should know before you will choose your computer case. So ito mga kaibigan, isa-isahin po natin in no particular Order. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or $700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so eto na nga. Nakapili ka na ng mga PC components mo or hindi ka pa nakapili ng mga PC components mo and here you will come and choose your computer chassis. Eto ngayon ang pinakauna mong dapat malaman. Anong size ang pipiliin mo. Dati-dati mayroong mga tinatawag na mini tower, mid tower, full tower pero since Medyo iba na yung approach ng market, sobrang dami ng variants so hindi na natin masyadong ma-distinguish minsan kung ano ang mini tower, mini ITX. So we'll just be going to the more mainstream choices which is there is a mini ITX na compatible lang sa mga mini ITX motherboard and of course a mid tower chassis that is also compatible for the micro ATX motherboard and mid tower chassis na compatible up to full ATX motherboard. So eto po sila. Halos tatlo yung nasa mid-tower lineup. And here is the full tower that is compatible up to the extended ATX motherboard. Ngayon, extended ATX, these are the motherboards that is bigger than the full ATX. It's not all of the time na full tower lang ang merong extended ATX. Meron din mga mid-towers. Yun nga lang, in most cases naman mga kaibigan, pag compatible sa extended ATX, is compatible na rin po siya sa ATX. Same with the ATX mid-tower, compatible na rin siya sa micro ATX. Yun nga lang, lagi kong sinasabi mga kaibigan, na dapat nating ibagay kung ano yung motherboard natin. Of course, if you grab a micro ATX motherboard, you should go for a micro ATX chassis. Huwag yung ATX kasi para siyang nakamini skirt pag nilagay mo yung micro ATX motherboard sa isang uh, pang full ATX or ATX chassis. So, ayan po yung dapat mo munang malaman. Ma-identify mo muna kung anong size ng chassis ang bibilihin mo. And that is always, in most cases, dependent kung anong motherboard size ang bibilihin mo. Now, let's move on to the aesthetics and design. So, kailangan malaman mo kung ano yung pasok sa panlasa mo. Mahirap naman kasing bibili ka ng isang chassis, tapos hindi naman uh, pasok sa panlasa mo, lalong-lalo na yan yung kadalasan mong makikita dun sa whole computer mo. Kung baga, pag meron ka ng build, anong una mong mapapansin? Siyempre, yung design ng chassis, yung exterior side, hindi yung interior. Kailangan mong malaman kung uh, trip mo ba yung ganito na medyo may konting uh, uh, emboss sa harap, nakaprotrude yung harap, medyo robotic, aggressive, ganun, or yung ganitong mesh, or yung ganitong plane, ang kanyang harap, or eto na mayroong mga parang geometrical angle sa harap. So, depende. Depende kung ano yung trip mo. So, kailangan nung ma-identify yun, may distinguish Then, based on your choice in terms of design, let's move on to the performance and build. Ibig sabihin, pag nakapili ka na kung anong chassis ang gusto mo, like for example, this one, ito yung napili mo, kailangan mo nang i-check, hindi ba masyadong restricted yung airflow niya given na ito yung pinili mo pero if in case ito yung trip mo of course in terms of performance no doubt maganda yung kanyang airflow so in terms of performance you are 100% sure na regardless kung anong fans yung ilalagay mo magkakaroon at magkakaroon ng magandang airflow kasi nga uh, open na open yung kanyang harap same with this chassis pero if you will be going for this na medyo restricted or etong plain ang harap na merong tempered glass yung harap 
then you should check kung meron siyang mga access, merong uh, papasukan ng hangin, hindi yung totally restricted. Kasi may mga chassis, especially pagdating sa budget ones, na pagtingin mo sa harap, tempered. Okay, that is your choice. Uh, choice mo yan eh, that is your personal taste. Pero, kumusta naman yung dadaanan ng hangin, meron ba? Dapat kahit papaano, meron. Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng ipush na laging ito yung piliin nila. Lalong-lalo na hindi naman tayo lahat pare-pareho ang panlasa. And at the same time, merong mga aircon naman yung room or maganda naman yung kanilang ventilation and ambient temperature. So, it's okay for them to have those kind of chassis na kahit hindi ganun kaganda or hindi, uh, kumbaga may konting restriction ng airflow. As long as merong dadaanan or merong access ng intake which is with this, meron po siya. Same with those deep call matrix, same with the other chassis, like for example, the NZXT, yung uh, harap niya, sobrang plain, pero meron po dito sa side ang mga konting uh, holes, kumbaga mesh, for the intake. So, pwede kang maglagay ngayon ng mas maraming fans for a negative pressure setup. If uh, mainit talaga sa inyo, it's better if you will go for this kind of case na maganda yung airflow. And then, the fourth is Clearance. How is the radiator placement? Can you uh, mount radiator at the top, which is uh, the best position for the radiator? And then another thing is, if you will be going for an air cooler setup, kumusta naman yung height ng air cooler mo? Pwede ba? Kasya ba? Doon sa kanyang clearance. Can you mount uh, Assassin 3 deep cool? How many fans can you mount? Can you mount 3 fans at the top, uh, 3 fans at the front, or can you mount 120 mm at the rear? And then lastly, in terms of clearance na kailangan mong i-check is yung cable management. Kumusta naman yung cable management area? Kahit pa paano, nabigyan ka ba ng 1.5 inches na clearance dito para sa cable management? Or do you have enough room sa may PSU shroud mo para dun mo itago yung mga iba't ibang cables na matitira? Or um, how is the car routes? Kaya mo bang mag-route ng 24 pin? Or kahit pa paano, dito ba sa ilalim, meron bang daanan ng uh, uh, cable para sa video card? Yun, kailangan mong i-identify din yung mga yun. Kasi kung wala yung mga yun, automatically you will suffer in terms of cable management. And uh, I think even uh, budget chassis, especially uh, chassis like uh, Techware, uh, maraming mga brands dyan, na kahit pa paano, kahit mura lang yung chassis, those are the parts na hindi naman na compromise. So, we have a wide array of choices here in the Philippines. And lastly, is the budget. Saka mo nalang iisipin yung budget kung na-figure out mo na kung ano yung gusto mong chassis. Kasi with the budget, you can now play around and search for more choices of chassis. From budget to mid-range to enthusiast build. Dahil na-figure out mo na yung gusto mo. Ang hirap kasing mag-decide ng isang bagay or mag- Isip kung magkano yung gagastusin mo kung wala ka pa rin namang masyadong idea pagdating sa mga features na dapat mong malaman about sa isang bagay. May it be an appliances or any kind of uh, purchase na gagawin mo. Kailangan mo munang malaman yung character, yung characteristics, I mean, ng isang bagay, features ng isang bagay na dapat mong tingnan before you will plan. Kasi in any uh, kind of uh, product naman, meron naman laging mga options. Another tips that I may share to you is choose chassis that comes with triple fans or more. Kasi mas makakatipid kayo ng mga around 50% ng uh, costing. Like for example, eto yung pinili mo worth 27. Merong isang chassis na worth 2000 lang. Pero wala siyang fans. Eto meron na siyang kasamang fans. Ngayon bibili ka ngayon ng uh, triple fan pack. Mga around 2k more or less. 2,000 plus 2,000, that is around 4,000. E, 227 lang. So, nakatipid ka ng around 1,300. Pero, syempre, kailangan i-consider mo rin yung mga included fans. Kung okay ba yung mga fans na included. Maganda rin ba yung performance. Or, if it's not the best out in the market, kahit paano decent na maging temporary fans mo until dumating yung panahon na kaya mo nang makabili ng mas aggressive, mas maganda yung performance na fans. So, ayan lang po mga kaibigan ang aking mabilisan at hindi masyadong technical na pagpapaliwanag or tips in buying your computer case. For dedicated video about uh, benchmarks ng mga chassis, 
Actually, meron tayong mga i-unbox soon. Tapusin lang namin muna yung mga AMD 5000 series, RTX 3000 series, and the upcoming uh, AMD 6000 video card. And we will move on to uh, sunod-sunod na computer case reviews. Pero siguro, in the coming days, gagawa rin ako ng mga mga ilan-ilan na dedicated videos pagdating sa uh, computer case. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.